bit of pile. So just a quick video today just to show you how to remove the lower pulley um, from the car. So what you need is you need a flywheel locking tool. So UK got this today for the post, £12. It's number VSE2394. They make two different models, but um, both of the same pattern. But this one is deeper and this one here works. So buy this one here. Um, you also need a 36mm um, socket. Now, now from getting the nut off, um, I would say, I'm going to measure it later and put it in the details, but I would say it's more 35mm because it's a bit loose in there, you know. Um, so I would say 35mm is better. I don't know about 34 but 35 is better if they make 35mm socket. But 36mm did work. Um, you also need uh, a puller as well. So, first of all, take the starter motor out, which is there, and then put the flywheel locking tool in there. Um, now, it actually rests really nicely in that gap, it sits really, really good because the actual flower locking tool is actually quite deep, it's about an inch deep, so it fits perfectly in there. Um, obviously, make sure that you turn the engine the right way, obviously, to undo it, and, that, and then that pot top there rubs against the, the start motor housing. Obviously, ideally, I'd like to put it where the bolt is and in between that little gap, but there's not enough room there, so yes, I could have potentially filed down some of the um, bottom from the teeth, which might have actually worked. Um, but it is obviously curved as well, so I might, so and of course there's always a chance it might jam in there as well. So, and I saw this technique here that Ryan Harvey, thanks Ryan, um, put on the picture. I put a picture on it and worked. So for me it worked spot on. Um, and all, the, and then you also have to have either an impact gun if you're not using one of those, or you have to have a you know at least a four foot um, pole because it's just too tight otherwise. So for me, all I did put the tool in place. Um, drop this from this angle down here and then obviously slid the um, the four foot extension pole on it's back to this sort of angle here and literally just let it against the wall and just cranked it and suddenly it cracked and then obviously you removed this, the, the pole and then basically just undid it and then it came off um, so that was fine and then um, I did try and sort of wiggle the pulley off but it wasn't it wasn't moving I didn't want to put any screwdrivers in here or damage anything obviously so what I did is I just literally just attached um, this onto uh, the edge here just onto the onto the inner edge probably where the um I think that's where the uh, air conditioning belt I think I think goes on that on there and um, put it on there and then literally just did it a few a few turns just to literally loosen it off and then it suddenly just moved that's and then I, and then I just wiggled it off and then that was it it's happy days that's off so yeah, that's, that's all you need is um, the tool, the 36 or potentially a 35 maybe, um, ideally one of those as well, some sort of basic puller, and that. And yep, happy days, and actually that puller um, came in this kit here, the slide hammer kit which I've used on my um, other cars to get hub, hubs off and stuff. Cool, yep, hope that's of some use, and now I can crack on, nice one, cheers. Yeah, but also as a quick addition to that video, so just be aware, um, I missed these two bolts here because they're, they're, they're quite hard to see they are, so just be aware there's two extra bonus ones, there's no, it doesn't need to be come off, that's the, that's the alternator clamp I think it was, and obviously you can see on mine it has been leaking um, for a while as well, so that's good, so obviously that, that one there came in the kit, the engine sort of rebuild kit, gasket kit from DeLorean Go, so I whipped that out, put a new one in, I can sort of see how it sits on there. Yeah, flush on there. I've um, got a new gasket as well to go on, so I'm going to clean this all up now and then have a look at my um, sprocket. But yeah, there we go. Nice one. Yeah, pile. So here's inside of my uh, DeLorean with the timing chain uh, cover off. So you can see I've got some cable ties in there, just a, just the green ones to stop it from um, skipping a tooth. And at the bottom, I actually put a screwdriver in there as well, just to make sure I didn't come off the bottom pulley, but I don't think it ever would do. So to attract the um, timing, sorry, to attract the tensioner on the lorry, and literally there's a tiny hole there, all you do is you literally just put your screwdriver and then just twist it ever so slightly, really super easy. And I think it's some sort of teethed ratchet thing on there. It must be a sort of teeth as the chain, and as the chain stretches over time, it just catches a an extra little teeth as it pushes it out. So you literally put a screwdriver in there, twist it a tiny bit, and you can see it move, and then you just press in the uh, tensioner sort of plates here. And then of course you can then keep um, tension on the, on the sprocket. And I literally lift it up a millimetre and a half, push it on, tightened up, and then let go. And then obviously this then pops out as it should do, back to where it's naturally gonna sit. So incredibly easy.
So whether or not I fucked all up, of course, and lost, and actually lost any teeth, who knows? Hopefully I haven't. But hey, you can see that it's uh, good. So I'm gonna remove the cable toes now. We're gonna clean up all around the outside here. I've already cleaned the timing cover, it's mint. And I, um, you'll see in a photograph that I used a angle grinder with a basically like a paint stripper style tool on it because for me the gasket was like rock solid and it's thick. And you know, I, I felt putting a, a sand knife on it was to ages and also made it damage something. So the other tool worked perfect. Yeah, so I'm gonna clean this up now, make it all mint. Put the cover back on with the new um, seal on the, in the cover. And then pull it back on, and I've got, I've got, um, I think the bottom bolt is, is suggests using Loctite on the bottom ones, maybe because there's some sort of potential seepage through the bottom one, so I'll, so I'll do that as well. But yeah, and then to tighten them up to the relevant, um, uh, and then talk. Nice one. But yeah, that's all good. And so there's the locking tool there. Nice one. Cheers.